What's up guys, it's B-Rock here with another review. Today we're looking at the Gretsch Electromatic. This is the Double Jet. Alright, so this is a Korean made guitar. And I picked it up used at Guitar Center. It has a Bigsby licensed tremolo. A uh, great deal on this one was that someone has actually already upgraded the pickups to TV Jones Filtertrons. Here we go guys, so there she is. A uh, nice guitar, very heavy, a solid mahogany body, uh, maple cap, uh, great sound. So what we're doing today is I have it going through the PV Classic 20 here, a great little tube amp. The old American ones uh, are much nicer than the, the new ones they're making, in my personal opinion. I'm running the speaker out into an Agnator 112 tweaker cabinet, but I have an English-made uh, Celestian Greenback in there which are uh, really great uh, speakers. They match well with the EL84 tube complement. So here are both pickups on. Bigsby works just fine. and clean. Take a look at the bridge pickup. It's got a nice snap to it. So there is a slight amount of breakup on the amplifier as uh, it is only 20 watts. Middle position again. It's got excellent sustain. Um, just and that's clean. I really like uh, guitars with plenty of sustain. It makes it a lot easier to get those violin tones. Now I'm running through a um, one of my pedal boards today, guys. And uh, on the board, I have a, a bunch of different effects. But the ones we'll be using today are the Angry Charlie by JHS. It's the uh, four knob, uh, older version. It does not have the bass metal treble uh, adjustments. It's just uh, the four knob. Then we're going to use the Barber Trifecta, which I think is an extremely versatile, um, modern kind of built fuzz. I don't know if they still make it or not, but I encourage you guys to pick them up because they're not uh, that expensive and they are very reliable, great sounding uh, fuzz pedals. And I uh, may use a wah. I don't know if we're going to use that today in the video, but it is the Snarling Dogs Addicted to Wah, um, which, you know, gives you, I mean, it's not your standard crybaby sound. It is a very smooth wah. I'll give you a quick listen. <laughs> So let's throw some gain on it. I'm using the Angry Charlie. <laughs> All 
Alright, good sound. Like I said, those uh, TB Jones pickups make a difference. <laughs> Now, I don't have it very loud at all. In fact, uh, to show you, I'm using my iPhone to record this. I can see it come over and actually So it's a, a little bit loud for what I would assume, uh, what a uh, home use would be, but uh, by no means am I at a gig volume. And so the point of saying that, is you know the louder uh, your guitar amplifier gets, uh, the tubes warm up, they get uh, hotter, they start to compress a bit more. You typically will get more natural sustain. So I'm uh, just driving home the fact that this particular instrument has a ton of sustain in it. While it is one of the heavier guitars that I've played, it uh, adds to the tone. <laughs> change out the electronics on this instrument when uh, they put the new pickups in and that's very prevalent because uh, when you go to roll the, the volume back on any uh, pickup selection it gets extremely muddy I'm sure you can hear the, the springs occasionally. Well, I'm not hearing it now. But I do really like these TB Jones pickups. They have the, the beef and power of a humbucker. But you have that beautiful sparkle that goes, uh, that typically you find with single coils. And even on the clean, tons of sustain. Have a listen to the neck.
Alright, so let's have some fun with the fuzz. That's the Barber Trifecta back on the bridge. <laughs> tell this is one of the older Korean models as it has a three-way switch one volume one tone the newer models do have the master volume uh, they still have the switch um, there, there's some other bells and whistles but uh, they you know they've changed the inlay on the neck they've changed the uh, the headstock is no longer bound personally I, I like uh, I you know I played some of the other more modern uh, made Gretches I don't think that the quality is quite as good from Indonesia and from China yet. I'm sure they'll get there, but this, uh, you know, these Korean made ones, while they are heavy and they are solid bodies, and not like some of the, the weight relieved and hollow bodies that they're making now, they have a very nice Gretsch sound. And that was the whole point, is I needed something that gave me the TV Jones, you know, Gretsch, Filter Tron sound, and this uh, does that very well, especially with the Bigsby. You know, that nice, crisp, clear. You know, very, uh, very good for ambient kind of uh, chording and, and things of that nature. some compression now the way I have my compression set I have the actual sensitivity or the the le compression level is at uh, nine o'clock the output now this is an MXR Dynacomp, Dynacomp the output is set to three so it actually gives me more of a boost
guitar really doesn't need a whole lot of compression as it does have a not, lot of natural sustain. <laughs> guitars that I actually like to play clean similar to like a, a telly or um, you know even a hollow body you know they just have that great really clear I, I mean, I really, I think that's where this guitar's tone shine is right here. It's a really nice balance. You know, you get that. Um, let me see if I can remember that. There we go, put some gain on. It's a bit much, but you get the idea. It's a very flat feel and uh, the action is extremely low and the tension that's another thing um, I'm using nines I always use nines across the board on all my instruments as I play other instruments uh, with lighter strings so it's easier for me to go back and forth between like violin and viola and then guitar but um, but as, as I was saying the tension on the strings with the Bigsby is, is definitely different it's something to get used to they're a lot tighter there are some advantages to that as um, you know if you've ever played a guitar with the Bigsby you well know uh, it's a very similar feel to that of an acoustic guitar at least the tension on a, let's say a Martin or a Gibson uh, in my experience so there are definite advantages uh, when playing an instrument with higher tension um, and but it, there are also some challenges as well so I'm gonna throw the game back on we're in the middle position <laughs> Thank you. 
a very nice, very nice uh, mid-range sound. Back to clean. And let's try some finger picking. Let me put the uh, the flat pick down. extremely well and I must add that um, the setup now while I do admit the setup probably was done by a professional at some point most of the Gretsch guitars that I played while I was at Guitar Center had very nice setups in fact um, to my pleasant surprise almost all the instruments I played at the particular Guitar Center that's next to me had good setups which usually doesn't happen I mean, I've walked into stores the action is just insane you know it's off the neck the strings are shot the intonation isn't anywhere near where it's supposed to be so to, to walk into a, a music store of that size and have that many instruments play properly uh, was a pleasant surprise and that's not to say that you know you can't walk into other smaller stores and have similar problems uh, they do exist but um, you know if you want to sell an instrument it better inspires the person that picks it up. So as I said before, this was $2.99. Now, not such a great deal if it didn't have the TV Jones pickups. That really is a huge upgrade. And I might add that um, I'm assuming that whoever traded, I'm assuming this was traded because in the used section, there were many uh, Korean made instruments and they all had upgraded pickups. Some of them had upgraded hardware. Uh, a couple Mexican Strats had some DiMarzios, some Seymour Duncans. So I'm assuming somebody, you know, had a, a small collection and they traded a bunch of things in to get, you know, a pro guitar. But the, the thing, guys, is, is that this is a pro guitar. I can play a gig on this. I, I have played a gig on this. It sounds great. It functions. It stays in tune. It's reliable. It gets you through. You know, if you want something for not a lot of money, but gives you that certain um, Gretsch sound, you know, this is an excellent solution. Now, don't get me wrong. I have very high end instruments that I enjoy playing, but uh, when you're at a gig, you're at a bar, especially at bars, guys, you know, you don't want a uh, very, you don't want a two thousand dollar Les Paul sitting there. In my experience, you know, once that thing goes over, the headstock cracks, I mean, it's all over. You know, uh, nicks, dings, things of that nature, that happens. Now, if you're in a financial position to not worry about things like that happening, that's great. But my experience is uh, making these videos for other musicians or people that want to become a gigging musician, you know, we don't have, you're not going to get the kind of money that, you know, you're used to. I have a day job. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm still shooting with an iPhone. You have to have a day job, uh, you know, and I get paid pretty well when I play gigs, you know. But, um, you know, it's uh, here on the East Coast where I'm located, guys. There aren't that many gigs left, at least for people that are playing classic rock and modern rock, you know. And, and it's a cover band. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's have some more fun. I'm going to use this phaser that I really like. It's the VFE Enterprise. It's a great sounding phaser. Thank you. 
sure to stretch the strings so thanks for spending some time with me if you like this video or this the kind of videos I'm doing and the information please hit like and hit subscribe please leave comments as uh, I do look for them and hopefully I can uh, take some constructive criticism and feedback from you guys and I'll give you another close-up this is the Korean made Gretsch uh, double jet with the TV Jones pickups. Bigsby licensed tremolo. One volume, one tone. And let's see if I can, yep, there we go. TV Jones. And again, guys, that's what made this the deal. And it's a really nice instrument. Decent piece of rosewood on the fingerboard. Decent setup. Tuners could probably be replaced, but all in all, it's a good instrument. So thanks for spending time with me today. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.